I will set my multimeter ten clam meter in twenty ampere. I should understand my this plan is consumed under twenty amp. One make sure point is also connected. I will uh, be carefully adjust this knob after use anything. So there is explo explosive for you can measure DC volt. You can measure just at AC volt on other things. It is clamp with like two amperes wirelessly. It is now work very well. So I can see it's three amperes. One on three amperes. When adjust when twenty amp. It see it's five on three amperes, which means this fan is used only five and three amperes. Amperes. I think it's a problem. Them. It's if you measure first. If you never understand your. If you measure our voltage. If you never can't. If you never to know how many turn. If you know idea your device is zoom how many turn. If you first that check the size. And now what? Which means if you test in 20 amperes, if you your first your device consume 1 to 20 amperes, if you can see, if you device consume a 20 to more, like a 20 to 20 to 200 amperes, if you set one to 100 amperes, you can measure 20 volt. Never measure. 20 ampere range in 30 amp so meter showing 0 0 other if you adjust 200 with a maximum limit of 200 ampere if you then you 400 ampere your meter is showing 0 0 so if you understand your ampere is lot and low from your adjusting point so you come back them if you have DC range and if you just done with them with the, there is a pressure inside electromagnetic force inside this is a metal clamp plastic clamp inside metal ring this side is a copper toil and multimeter setup if you put that conductor any conductor inside them your load draw turn conductor as like an electromagnet these electromagnet receive from this electromagnetic field to generate receive this multimeter as pressure shunt inside from voltage drop to shunt and even voltage that left in this meter and this video is done with the next video and next time this video will be and